Welcome back guys to my said channel, ya boy epic jazz. I'm standing up because it's dark now and this is the best way you guys can see me the best in this video. Today I'm going to say all the games that are coming out between tomorrow and the end of March. The price rate, the pro about what the price, roughly about the what the price is according to the game website, and what platform they all be on, according to the game, also to the game website, so the platforms that game are selling that game on. My hair's a bit of a mess. We'll have to exclude, yeah, I'll just ignore that. Okay, the first game is Ori. Or it's spelled O R I Ori, and the Will of the Wisps. It's an Xbox only game, according to the game website. The release date is the eleventh of March, which is tomorrow. Um, the price uh, is around for the standard edition. £24.99p and then the um, download version is also the same but on the download version which is on that card thing you know when you pick up uh, you know uh, a, a, a digital thing with a, a code on a code for uh, the, 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 basically the the way you buy digital games for the, from from games game on that card thingy my bob um and whatnot it has like the window windows 10 on it plus like the windows logo on it um, so potentially you might be able to play it on Windows 10. I don't know, but I saw that on the image. So I thought I'd say that just in case you can play it on Windows 10. Um, the next game is called Overpass. Uh, it's for Nintendo, which we, by Nintendo I mean like Nintendo Switch. Uh, and probably also good might be you might be able to play it on Nintendo Lite as well, which Nintendo Switch Lite, pretty much the same console, just smaller. Um, and the PlayStation Four, the release date is the oh oh yeah the the first game that I mentioned age rating is a seven by the way, <laughs> yeah back back to the second game about Overpass, uh PlayStation Four and Nintendo Switch release date is the twelfth. Uh, of March, so two days away. Age rating is a three. Uh, price range uh are for the PlayStation Four is around about forty nine ninety nine, so basically around about fifty quid. Uh, and then price range for Nintendo Switch is around forty four pound ninety nine to around forty five pounds. The edition and and on on the front cover it will it should say day one edition. Uh, this next game is a beta. Uh, game actually comes out. The actual game itself also comes out this month, but the beta comes out before the actual game. Uh, Bleeding Edge beta releases. Uh, release date is the thirteenth of March. It's an Xbox only, according to the game website, and it will cost around £24.99p. It's got a 16 rating for age, and the proper game release is the 24th of March. This next game is uh, Doctor Who The Edge of Time. It is for the PlayStation 4 only. Um, price range is around about £19.99, so around about £20. 
Uh, release date is the uh, 13th of March. It is VR Wacquiet, where the v- virtual reality game, and you need a v- uh, PlayStation VR to play this game. It is a 12 rating. This next game is called Hell w- Warders. It's for the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo, which is Nintendo Switch, of course. The price range is around £24.99. The release date is also the 13th of March. The, the next game is My, My Heroes 1's Justice 2. The weirdest name of a game I've ever seen in a while. It is for Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Price around £45.99p, so basically £46, roughly. Of course, on the day of all these games, the price might be a bit more than that, because that's how game shops work. Because they want to make more money. It's it's how game life goes. I pretty much you guys probably know that by now. Uh, it's got a 12 rating. Uh, the next game is Niho 2, it's spelled N-I-O-H, I think it's Japanese or something, I'm not sure. And then 2, so the second one of that series. Um, it is going to be released on the 13th of March for the PlayStation 4 only. Age rating... 18, so adults only, no kids, no teenagers, adults only, thank you very much for this particular game. Price around £44, no, not £44, £49, 99p for the standard edition, or around about £69, 99p for the special edition. Now I turn over to... Uh, the other side of my page because I covered two pages with this month's game slash special edition of a games console. The next game is Remnant from the Ashes. It's a 16 rated video game. Release date is two days before my birthday, the 17th of March. Price ri- uh, range, or well, price around, uh, pr- price is around £34.99p. TT, the next game is TT Izzle of Man Ride on the Edge 2. Weird name for a game, but oh well. It is for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Inten- Nintendo Switch. Price is around £49.99p. Release date, the 19th of March, my birthday. A game's released on my birthday. (laughs) That's not the first time I've noticed a game being released on my birthday. Uh, the, The special edition console coming out this month is the Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing Edition. It's got a 3 rating, age rating, the console, so, because I'm guess that's because that's the lowest rating video game you can get for that particular console. Price around £329.99p, so that is a very, the most costly thing on this list, because it's a console. Well, duh. Uh, Release date is the day after my birthday, the 20th of March. The next game... Oh, hang on, my nose is somewhat itchy. Yeah. Uh, The next game we are going... uh, The next game is Super Epic. Weird name, but it sounds epic because it has epic in its name. Uh, Age rating is 12. It's for the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Release date, once again, the day after my birthday, the 20th of March or the 3rd of April. Now, I'll explain this. On the actual calendar thing where you scroll down and see all what's coming 
to like games, consoles, etc. on the game website. On the actual, before I clicked on it to see the price, it said that the release date was the 20th of March. Uh, hang on. I'm getting confused. What? Yeah, 20th of March. Um, but when I clicked on it to see the price, it said the 3rd of the 4th, 2020. So that's why I put or 3rd of April. Uh, the price is around, uh, will be around £29.99p uh, for the standard edition or around £39.99p for the collector's edition. Uh, the next game is Animal Crossing New Horizon Nintendo Switch only, of course. Uh, it's got a three age range of uh, three. Price range price will be around forty nine pound ninety nine p. So a pretty expensive Switch game. Release date once again will be the twentieth of March. Uh, the next game, Doom Eternal. A lot of people um, probably will want this. It's for the place. It will be on PlayStation Four, Xbox One, and PC. So I'm guessing that so X, the game will be selling it for all, all those three pa platforms. Age rating, of course, is an eighteen. So adults only. Once again, no kids, no teenagers. Adults only video game release date is the 20th of march uh price is a bit weird and i will explain um so price uh around uh, around 49 pound 99p for standard edition um it is 54 pound around about 54 pound 99p uh, download for Xbox One, that's for download, and then the physical is the price I've just said. And then £44.99p for the for the PC, which is physical, and then for download for PC is £49.99, roughly. And then the deluxe edition is around... One hundred and ninety nine pound ninety nine p. So basically, two hundred smackers. Um, you get the game and this, like, doom. Um, probably wearable. What well, looks like wearable helmet and some other stuff. So that could be cool. Next game, a, a game I would never try myself, like, ever. Fishing Sim World Pro Collector's Edition, release date, the 27th of March. Um, it's for Xbox One and PlayStation 4, age rating 3, it's the fishing game. So, of course, it's got a low age rating. Price around £34.99p. The next game is Saints Row 4 Re-Elected. Uh, it's an 18. So, uh, once again, adults only. No kids, no teenagers, adults only. It's for Nintendo only as well. So, a Nintendo Switch exclusive. Uh, price around £34.99p. Pretty decent for a Nintendo Switch game. The next game is called Granble. Granble. Granblue Fantasy Versus. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Age rating is uh, 12. Uh, it's for the PlayStation 4 only. Price uh, is around... £49.99p, release date the 27th of March. Uh, this next game is called Gruac Camille. Acmele. And there's like a shout mark. 
in the title, so uh, you have to shout that. One, two, punch, collection. Weird, I know. Age rating 12. PlayStation 4, Nintendo. Um, price around £39.99p. This next game is called Gigantosaurus. It's a dinosaur game. It's a for PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. Age rating 3. Price range £34.99. Roughly. Because, like we know, game stores like to change the price on the day. Uh, this next game is called Flash Another World. There's a dash between Flash and Another World, though, which is kind of weird, which is Andor, stands for Andor. Flash Andor Another World. Um, it's for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch. Age rating is 12. Price around £34.99p. Release date, 27th of March. And then this final last game launches release dates on the last day of March, I think. Hang on, did I write that down? Sorry. Did I write down the release date of this one? No. Crap. Oh. Sorry for saying this is that 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 crap. And now I just said it again. Great. Never mind. Um by accident. Just don't don't yell at me. I, I said it by accident, okay. I, I there. Um anyway, this last game is called Persona 5 Royal, PlayStation 4 only. An 18 rated game, so once again, adults only. No teenagers, no kids, just adults only. Price is around £49.99 roughly. Launch edition or around £79.99. Platinum Thieves edition. And I'm pretty sure on the website slash app, it says that the release date is the 31st of March. The 30th or 31st of March. I'm pretty sure it was the... Th yeah, it was the 31st of March is the release date of that. So, yeah, that's all the games and the special edition Nintendo Switch that's coming out this month. I'll have another episode of this 1st of April saying all the games and stuff coming out in April. Then... Again, in May, 1st of May, doing all the stuff in May. Then June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And then once all over again in January, every month of every year. One episode a month. So, what's coming out game-wise, like video games and consoles, sounds pretty darn awesome series to me. A new series to spicing up this cha channel. Uh, so you guys got something new to look forward to. I will see you guys next time. Bye.